If my pops finds out I got in trouble in school today, I'm definitely gonna be on punishment. Uh, there's a party tonight at Peter's house. Can I go? You're not going nowhere. Every little step you take will be around this bedroom tonight. Did you hear anything about a party tonight? Uh-uh. At least not any good ones. Hello, Tawatha. Do I feel like being bothered with Tawatha? Hello, LaDonna. Woman, woman, woman. Yo, baby, you looking real good. Step off. Scandalous. Kick it, Pop. What you got to say now, punk? How much more trouble can I get into? Hey, eraser head. Look, I'm in prison. Just do me a favor. Don't pick up the soap. Wait till I find him. I'm gonna kill him. Yo, y'all, look who fell into the gig. Hey, this ain't Soul Train. The two finest women in here. Now, how could a man choose? He better choose right. OK, so where we're on our way to? The house party. What? The house party. Jay ain't going to that damn party. That's all to it. I don't give a damn what you say. Make me a social misfit. You know, the big thing was, um, uh, you know, House Party is a film that, you know, I was fortunate to be in, in a generation that, you know, to get to watch it. It probably had one of the best, you know, soundtracks that we, we've had in a, in, a, in a long time. It was an amazing soundtrack. But the fact that you guys were, you know, were cast to play the, the bullies there and you had a lot of rappers and actors all, all around did the acting part come natural for you guys or was it um did you see it as a way of promoting the full force brand or what was your thoughts when you guys accepted the offer did it come natural it definitely came natural with us because ever since we were little kids me and my brothers we was doing plays in the house mm -hmm. i would write little plays because in college, I majored in theater, but back then we were little. Oh. I, write, I would write little plays, and the three of us would just act them out in front of company, in front of my mother and my father. And we do these plays that I would be writing for them. So as little kids, we always had that chemistry with each other. And in the script for House Party, we were written, because first of all, my two brothers appeared in the movie Crush Food, where they played two bullies that was beaten up. Uh, Blair Underwood, who is an actor, and he portrayed Russell Simmons in it. And oh, they had, yeah, two, and they had yeah. yeah, and they had two scenes where my brothers beat beat them beat them up, but they had such a presence, and they had the Jerry curls and the muscle shirts. Nobody was doing that. So <laughs> yeah. when it came, so when it came to House Party, Reggie Hudlin, who wrote and directed House Party, he literally had in the script the original script. He used full force as descriptions. So he said, kid and play, or it, whoever had the role at the time, because Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince was offered it first. But he said, kid and play is accosted by, by three bullies with bowling ball muscles and droopy jerry curls. <laughs> Somebody like full force. That was literally in the script as a description. So, so a mutual friend of ours named Robert Ford, who's close with Reggie, said, Reggie, why don't you just get full force? And Reggie's like, yeah, I didn't even think of it. He's like, you're, just, <laughs> you're describing them. Get them. See if they can act like what you want them to do. And he called my brother Paul. The three of us went down, and we did like a, um, sort of like an audition. And we just did a monologue that we just made up. And they already saw we had the chemistry to act. And bam, they casted us. And I'll never forget that table read. All of us at the table read, reading the script. Us, Martin Lawrence, Kid and Play, Tisha Campbell, George Clinton, who played the old school DJ. Mm. I mean, it was an incredible. And we read the read it. But then when I went back to the hotel with my brothers, I said, guys, our parts in this script, it's not all that good to me. We're like bullies without personalities. So I said, let me change, let me change a couple of things. And then let's show it to the Hudlin brothers. If they like what I change it to, then great. If they don't like it, we'll keep it the way it is. And I remember my brother B Fine was supposed to be the character of Pee Wee, and I was supposed to be the character named Zilla. My brother Paul was the, was our leader, and he was the name Stab. His name was Stab. 
And I told my brother B, I said, B, let me be Pee Wee. You be Zilla, because I'm smaller than you and my brother, you and Paul. And I'm going to talk like this throughout the whole movie. He said, what? <laughs> he said, what? I'm going to talk like this throughout the whole movie. What are you going to talk like that for? I said, I don't know. I just want to talk like this whole movie. So I just developed a character. I'll never forget T.C. Campbell calling me after seeing the movie, after not seeing it in like 20, 25 years. Lou, which you, which you, what made you come up with that character? <laughs> And not only did I come with the character, but my brothers got tired of me because even during lunch breaks, I was still staying character. I was still <laughs> in character until they until we did a you know it's a wrap. Then I would come into Lou. So they hated me for that. Will you shut up? Talk like yourself. We're eating. <laughs> we're eating lunch. Damn it. <laughs> but but what happened is that we, I I changed. I I came up with a part. I'm gonna kick your freaking ass. And another part, I smell, I smell, I smell pussy. So those two things are kind of iconic lines, especially in the black community. Everybody knows it. When they see me, sometimes they don't even ask me to say it because I know they want me to say it. <laughs> I said, you better do this or else I'm going to kick your freaking ass. I mean, I say freak it now, but it's really in the movie. I'm going to kick your fucking ass. And, and my, and my, um, inspiration for that character was, I would say, like, three different people, but it was, I, it was like, part Jerry Lewis, part, oh, Curly, yeah, yeah. part Curly from the Three Stooges, yeah. and I would say um, Joe Pesci. Oh. Joe, Pesci, Joe Pesci did Lethal Weapon Part 2 with um, yeah. Mel Gibson. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, he, and, you know, it was kind of talking like this. Kind of yeah, like yeah. this. But he had this, he had this um, hook and he kept going, okay, 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 yeah, 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 I remember that. That was his hook. So I'm like, I'm going to make up a hook, and it might stick. And boy, did it more than stick. I mean, Jesus Christ, to this day, to this day, I still say it, and I go, huh, story of my life. And I remember we showed the Hudlin brothers the one scene we changed, and when we did it, we did all of our thing, the Hudlin brothers said, Keep it. And we kept it. I was so excited because after they told us to keep it, what did I do? Or what did we do? We went to every scene that we was in that movie and we changed it. So everything you see in that movie, full force road. We wow. should have got we should have got damn writing credit, but we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but you did have you did have a ain't 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 um ain't um I'm trying to get the song Ain't My Type of Ain't, ain't My Type of Hype. Yeah. As I said, it's an amazing soundtrack, you know, Big Bug yes. and, and everyone on, on, on it. Uh, there's a party tonight at Peter's house. Can I go? You're not going nowhere. Every little step you take will be around this bedroom tonight. Did you hear anything about a party tonight? Uh-uh. At least not any good ones. Hello, Tawatha. Do I feel like being bothered with Tawatha? Hello, LaDonna. Boomin, boomin, boomin. Yo, baby, looking real good. Step off. Scandalous. Kick it, pop. Yeah. Hey. Uh. What you got to say now, punk? How much more trouble can I get into? Hey, eraser head. <laughs> Look, I'm in prison. Just do me a favor. Don't pick up the soap. Wait till I find him. I'm gonna kill him. Yo, y'all, look who fell into the gig. Hey, this ain't Soul Train. The two finest women in here. Now, how could a man choose? He better choose right. Okay, so where we're on our way to? The house party. What? The house party. Jay ain't going to that damn party. That's all to it. I don't give a damn what you say. You're gonna make me a social misfit. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, to press the notification bell so that you can be notified when we do have a new interview. Loads to come, but thanks a lot for watching.